Hello everyone! My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so glad that you have come to learn with me today. Today we are going to learn how to write the date using digits. Class, I already have the date written down for the first of my school year. It is September the 3rd, 2025. But I could write that only using numbers. This is what it would look like. Three, and then a slash, or a slanty line. Nine, and another slanty line, and then the number 25. Hmm. Could you figure out why I wrote the date with these numbers? How did I know which ones to write? I bet you can figure it out. The three, we're looking over here in the date, we see that the three indicates that it is the third day of the month. The third of the month of September. I used a nine for September. And then 25 is the last two digits of the year. But why would I use a nine for the month of September? Do you know? Well, let's look right on over here at our months of the year. I have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We have 12 months of the year. If we number them 1 through 12, the month of September is number 9. So when I was writing the month, I just used the number 9. You can do that too. And it makes writing the date much easier, and you can do it more quickly. We're going to try a few more. Are you ready? All right, I have a date written on my board. January 23rd, 2014. How would I write it with just digits? Right, we're going to start with the day first. So it is the 23rd. The 23rd of which month? The first month. I gave you an easy one. First. And then what would our year be? 14. We're going to do just the last two digits. 231 14 is the 23rd day of January 2014. Let's try another one. All right, on your paper, I want you to write down the digits of these dates. Are you ready? August the 10th, 1954. April the 9th, 2003. November the 1st, 2011. Pause the video, write down your dates using digits, and then turn the video on to see if you got it correct. All right, do you have yours written down? Did you notice that one of them is a little bit silly? If you didn't do them, I want you to do the last one because the last one is a fun date. All right, are you all set? The first one is 10, 8, 54. The 5, 4. Even though it's 1954, we would still just write down the last two digits. All right, number two was 9403. And the last one, 1, 11, 11. It's just 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. I think it's fun when you can find dates that are like that. And I have a special date that I'm going to show you. Are you ready? All right, class, here's a date I want you to try. January the 31st, 2013. All right, pause the video and write it down. All right, let's take a look at it. I have January the 31st, 2013 is 31, 1, 13. Hmm, 3, 1, 1, 1, 3. 3, 1, 1, 1, 3. It's the same way, backwards and forwards. 
Did you know that if you can read a number or a word backwards and forwards the same way, that it is a palindrome? There's so many fun things that you can do when you're playing with math. When you're writing the date, don't forget, you're going to write the day, the month, and then the year. It's a quick, easy way for you to write the date. Oh class, thank you so much for learning with me. I hope that you have fun writing the date in digits. Could you quiz someone and see if they get it correct? Or maybe you could figure out some other dates that would be palindromes. I hope that you have fun playing with math. Have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye. Let's try. Oh, I dropped my April.